and chat with you if you would like. So we'll try to give um, answers that are briefer. Yeah, we'll uh, be briefer. And try to get to as many people as we can. So yes, ma'am. Thank you for being with us here tonight. My name is Cece Doucette from Ashland. And I wanted to thank you both for the work that you're doing to try and protect our planet. As we put those plans forth, and we all love our technology, there's no question about that, but we also need to swing back and see what we can do towards safe and sustainable technology. Senator Markey, you mentioned that you helped to pass that Telecom Act in 1996, and there is one section of that, 704, which tells us that if there are any environmental concerns with the cell towers, we have no recourse. And as you may know, on November 1st, our own government, the U.S. National Toxicology Program, published their $30 million study hoping to prove that cell phone technology was safe. They've been doing this study for 20 years, and instead they found clear evidence, that's the highest categorization, clear evidence that radio frequency radiation causes DNA damage and cancers. Right on the heels of that, Italy's Ramazzini Institute published another large study that corroborated what we found here in the US. Other studies throughout the world, peer-reviewed, published scientific literature, links this also to our skyrocketing rates of autism, Alzheimer's, infertility, and is perhaps the reason why so many of us don't sleep well anymore, have headaches our doctors can't account for, because this is a pulsed microwave radiation that all wireless technology uses. So I wanted to be sure you are aware that there's a wonderful resource from the National Institute for Science, Law, and Public Policy out of Washington, D.C. that outlines these issues for us, and every community should be examining this. Brussels has already put a moratorium on 5G because we don't need more wireless infrastructure. We should be focusing on bringing hardwired technology to the premises. And then we can hook up inside through ethernet cables, which actually give you a much faster connection than anything wireless will ever give us. So my ask of you today is, I know that your colleague DeFazio on transportation Senator Blumenthal, Anna Eshoo, and others are already on this issue in DC, and we would like to see you work on Section 704 of the Telecom Act so that we can legally address the health and environmental impacts of wireless technology. And I thank you. It's a very important issue. I'm glad that you're raising it. The, uh, it uh, I actually commissioned a study by the National Cancer Institute uh, about uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, on the impact of wireless technologies in terms of uh, creating cancers. Um, and uh, what they concluded at that time was that while it didn't actually cause them, it could actually accelerate because of the RF, the radio frequency near um, the brain, uh, the, the speed with which an underlying already pre-existing condition um, would uh, accelerate. So. Um, it's a very important study. I think we would both like to see it and to act on it. And we, and we thank you so much for bringing it to our attention. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Very important. Thank you. Yes, right over here. Hello. 